So you want to get organized, but you don't know what you need? Here are the best home organizing budget products that I use. Let's get started. Hello, welcome back to The Crafty Organizer. I'm Maureen Burke, and I love bringing you ideas on ways to get organized, declutter, do DIYs, upcycles, and anything crafty. But today I want to talk to you about some of the products that I use for almost every single organizing job that I do. And these don't have to be expensive. I get most of these items at office supply stores, the Dollar Tree, or chances are you've already got these items lying around the house. So let's start with item number one. Locker bins from the Dollar Tree. I love these. Every time I see them, I snag them. White is my favorite color just because they go with everything, but they come out in so many different fun colors. Now, the reason I like these is they fit on almost every single shelf. Because they are a little bit longer, you can go ahead and set them on a shelf if it's shallow, but if you do have a shelf that's just a little bit longer, these fit great. You can mark them. They're big enough that you can store a lot of items inside but small enough to fit as I said on every standard shelf. This is bathroom, kitchens, linen closets, bookcases. So if you see these snag them and like I said they hold a lot of stuff in there and they're small enough to manage and organize things with likes with likes. So snag these up and again you can order them in multiples on the Dollar Tree website and this is the type of item that I would go ahead and get the full dozen of because you can use them in so many different places in your house and at just a dollar or a dollar twenty-five if your Dollar Tree has raised prices. I think this is a super budget-friendly way to get organized. Budget product number two are shoe boxes. I grab shoe boxes frequently when I'm doing organizing jobs because yes, of course you can store shoes in there. I like them because you can see through them if you would like to have that visual reminder of what things are. They're stackable, they're affordable, and it helps you to break down those smaller categories again and have the ability to see everything as a zone. So if you're using this in the craft room, you can get all those similar things together but broken down so they're manageable. The thing I want to caution you, and this is the one time I say don't get the Dollar Tree brands, is you want to get a lid that's going to be super sturdy. So give it a little bend test. If you can bend it easily, skip that brand. Stairlight is a really good brand. I found that everything from Daiso, that's where this one is from, is really strong and sturdy. But the Dollar Tree brand I've been disappointed with, and if you go to bend that lid, it's super flexible. So if you're using these shoe boxes to stack up and have multiple things broken down, go ahead and opt and spend a few more cents so that you get something that's sturdier. But these should be right around a dollar to a dollar fifty per box, which is once again a pretty affordable option. Budget product number three I am sure you have in your home already, and that is food storage bags. You guys, these are one of the best resources for breaking down smalls, especially if you've got a lot of smaller things, but you want them contained in a larger box or drawer or cabinet. Think about breaking down things in your junk drawer or on your tool bench, in your bathroom, or even in your craft space. I've shown this example in my craft room before of my miscellaneous things. I have a lot of those random items, and I know you do too in your craft room, and you don't know what to do with it. So I have a large box that sits on my shelf. I have larger food bags and I just cut down a little piece of cardstock and I write that name on there. And this allows me to have all those random miscellaneous things sorted in one box, but I can still file through and find them. You can do this with scraps of paper if you have them, or fabric, or items in your kitchen. If you have random small spices or small bags of things, use larger food bags with that cardstock inside so that they stand up and don't flop around. And you can organize all of those little small random things. Again, this works great for memory items and in your tool area as well. 
Keep those small things organized with Ziploc bags, whether they're small snack size or the larger two and a half gallon size, if they're larger things. A perfect way to protect, sort, organize, and keep contained. This next one is going to be the only one that is a little bit pricier, but that is a label maker. The one that I love and have been using for years is the Brother P Touch. Now, you can get any type of label maker that you want. I know there are so many different styles out there right now, but I found that the Brother is wonderful and you can use it for so many different things throughout your home. One of the best resources I've seen this used for is labeling all of the breakers in your space so you never have to guess what something is again. But what about using binder clips and labeling them for projects that you're breaking down? This example is working for a teacher, but if you're doing bills or if you're doing genealogy, labeling these binder clips so that you know what things are is just so incredibly useful. It also is great for labeling cables if you're working in a larger area, for of course your pantry breaking down those containers, even light switches. I know this is a silly one that we might not have thought of again, but you've got multi switches in a space. Go ahead and label them in a small font and this way you know what things are. But labeling items in your space really makes things a lot more efficient. It lessens the search time when you're trying to find something and you don't have to have a giant label if you don't like that visual. Just putting something right on top that's small that saves you the time when you're looking for something is one of the best ways to use the label makers. Just don't get too carried away. Budget product number five is small organizers. Now, I happen to love these from the Dollar Tree. They are just like the Rubbermaid brand that are six to seven dollars a piece. So if you ever see these at the Dollar Tree, grab them. But the Dollar Tree, as well as other dollar stores, have a lot of small containers, sometimes that come in multi-packs. But what about your food boxes, those cardboard boxes that you're getting ready to throw away? If they have had non-perishable things in them, go ahead and cover them in wrapping paper, contact paper, scrapbook paper, and use those small dividers to break down things in your drawers. These are some of the best ways to keep a space neat and organized without it having to cost a lot of money. Number six are vacuum storage bags. These storage bags are such a favorite of mine that I dedicated an entire video showing you which ones are great to use and the proper way to actually store them. I hear a lot of people complain about vacuum bags because they didn't work. There is a very specific way to use them. So if you've ever had an issue with them and you're thinking, oh, why would you recommend I use these? Give that video a quick check so that you know how to use them the proper way but vacuum bags are fantastic if you're trying to maximize the storage of a space and you have soft items, especially if you are a sewer, quilter, shrink down that batting and that fabric and make that space more usable for you by shrinking it down into a tiny space. The other benefits of shrinking them down is it does protect it from dust, moisture, bugs, critters. I love using these vacuum bags, so check out that video and let me know in the comments below if you use them for other things. Budget item number seven are binder clips. I'd already mentioned this once before about breaking down the papers and marking them. But here are some other quick tips with the binder clips. There's cute ways to use them for display items. I've seen this before when people really decorate them, especially if you were in the old stamping up idea books. They used to use binder clips a lot and I think it's such a cute idea. But what about on tubes of things? I use binder clips on my toothpaste as I'm rolling it down just to keep the toothpaste together. But you can also use this on tubes of paint and, and other small craft items. Here's that example again of keeping the papers organized, bundled together, and clearly labeled. Using it as dispensers for string and twine, keeping your cords identified and separated so that you have easy access. But in the kitchen, untapped resources for those binder clips with food items. But for bottles in the refrigerator, I think that one is my absolute favorite. And you can use this one in your pantry as well. Binder clips are more than just for organizing office papers. Command strips are one of those things that have become just the must have. They are so versatile with their use. From corralling those cables to getting things hung up on a wall that just aren't for display. 
even getting things organized in the kitchen. So if you would like some more ideas, I did another complete video on just organizing with command strips. So check that one out if you have some command strips lying around and you're wondering about ways to incorporate them into your organizing style. Number nine is one that I've been meaning to talk about more, and that is three ring binders. Alejandra TV is probably the first time I'd really seen using binders for a bunch of other things, but since then, I've encouraged people, if you don't have a lot of space for organizing, get things on a shelf, and you can start breaking down a multitude of your organizing needs, whether it's coupons, business cards, seed packets, recipes. In your craft space, you can use this for your dyes, your rubber stamps. What about using it for your stickers, your scraps, or even jewelry? This one blew my mind. How many of us have jewelry that we're trying to figure out how to organize, but we don't necessarily want to have it out and on display? I had done things before with foam core to organize pens, markers, and scissors. You can easily incorporate the foam core in a way that I had done for the pens and the scissors to store your jewelry. If you're interested in that and you'd like to see how that can be done, let me know in the comments below. That might be a DIY we can do together. Number 10, I think, is my absolute favorite. And if you've ever taken a room tour of my craft space, you know you've seen me use these. And that is magazine holders. I love using these because it's super easy to have access to. You can see what's inside, but you don't openly see the things out, so it's not cluttered. I use my magazine holders for my labels, my poly bags, my vinyl. But because of their versatility, you can absolutely use these in other places of the home when you have smaller items that need to be organized. And these can be hung on the wall in different ways. So don't be afraid of using magazine holders in different ways. And you can have these on a shelf either upright or on their side. You can have them facing the other way so that you can see the spines of books or flip it if you don't want to see anything. I love these items because they are versatile. So if you are the type of person that needs to see it to use it, you can. And if you don't want that visual, you want things hidden but still easily accessible and broken down, you can do that as well. Which one of these budget products do you already use or do you think you're going to try? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions on things that you use, please leave those in the comments. I love getting those ideas of what works for you and your fellow viewers love getting these ideas and suggestions so that they can apply it to their own space. Thank you so much for watching today. As always, thank you to my patrons. You guys are absolutely the best and I appreciate you supporting my channel and allowing me to make these videos. I will see you guys in just a few days. I've got some DIYs planned ahead, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're alerted when I post. I'll see you soon. Bye.